we'll add the four infrahyoid muscles to the picture. Starting with the two deepest ones, the thyrohyoid and the sternothyroid muscles. In effect, they're one continuous muscle. The thyrohyoid arises from the back of the body of the hyoid bone and inserts on the oblique line of the thyroid cartilage. The sternothyroid arises from the same oblique line and passes down behind the upper end of the sternum. It inserts on the back of the sternum down here. Now we'll add the other two infrahyoid muscles to the picture, the omohyoid and the sternohyoid. The omohyoid muscle arises here, the sternohyoid here on the body of the hyoid bone. The sternohyoid runs straight downwards close to the midline and inserts on the back of the sternum here. The omohyoid muscle runs downwards, laterally, and backwards. It lies in front of the carotid sheath and the brachial plexus, which is under here. The omohyoid muscle passes beneath the trapezius muscle to insert on the upper border of the scapula. Finally, we'll return the clavicles and the sternocleidomastoid muscles to the picture. In looking at the intact neck, it's useful to remember that when the neck isn't extended, the bottom of the cricoid cartilage may be no higher than the top of the clavicle.